Tag. People usually call me Sir Gimo or yeah, yeah, Sir Gimo, that's it. And artists usually call me Tatang or Tatay Gimo, that's it. I'm Guillermo Vidi Maligalig, formerly the Cultural Affairs Director of the University of Southeastern Philippines. Well, I would like to remember how the Cultural Affairs started. I was actually dreaming of organizing something that would make USP lead the culture and arts in Davao City and that is it. So I did it first through the dance troupe. Through the Dance Theater Davao, then it was called Pangkatsilayan Theater Collective. At, I am a mathematics teacher and nobody actually in the university would ever trust me. They do not know that I happened to be a dancer when I was still in college. So I organized it and called for somebody who is a PE teacher and that was Helen Alaba. I used her name and said, let us try to organize a dance troupe. And so then we joined the first competition in Davao City. Fortunately, we won. First time pa lang, nanalo na kami. And napansin ka agad kami sa university. Then so nagkaroon ng bagong president ang university. The first president is Dr. Eslaw. And then who recognized me? Sabi niya sa akin, oh, baka gusto mo mag-aral lang sa'yo, marunong ka pala. Ano, dancer ka ba? PE teacher? No, sir, I'm a mathematic teacher. Huh? I, he was actually surprised. And then I said, yes, sir, but my passion is also with dancing. So you go to, to school. You go to school so that you will be qualified to teach physical education and dancing. So I was sent then by the university at the Rizal Memorial, something there, RMs there in Manila. That stadium there, I do not know what's that, I forgot yet. So I took up some courses in physical education and dancing. And when I come back, she said, Oh, sige, mahala ka, gawain mo ang gusto mo, I will support you. That is what Dr. Islao said. So I started organizing the dance troupe as the university dance troupe. And then it was like, uh, well, so Board of Regents actually recognized it too. And then I started saying, hindi lang pwede dance troupe lang ito. There should be music, there should be choral, there should be rondalia. I, 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 I was thinking big. Okay, so then I started recognizing uh, people who, who know something about guitar, rondalia. So from the laboratory school, I organized the first Yusef rondalia, asking help from my friends in the theater like, uh, yeah, the one who is doing the rondalia in uh, the Magallanes Elementary School. Ako nagbabayad sa kanila para mag-train lang. Until such time that it was good already and then I requested the next president to hire somebody to, to lead the rondalia and that was Mr. Helanis. And I said, I need to have also again a choral. So I asked Lynette Niego, one of our students, to organize the choral. And then when the choral was organized already, sabi ko, kinakailangan ng teacher. So I have to request somebody not to lead this. And so doon nagsimula, nandoon na, nandoon na yung mga teacher na ni-request ko sa university, binigyan ako. Fortunately, the university actually supported me. And I was very happy. So that's how it started. At first, they do not actually see me as a, as a director of the cultural affairs. Dance trip lang talaga. And then I decided, gawain ko kaya itong office organization where I have all this. So that it could, uh, it would be able to go out and lead the culture and the arts in Davao City. So, nung magkaroon na ng Dakon, yung sa Dakon na, I became the, the, uh, yeah, the uh, overall coordinator for the cultural affairs at Dakon. And there, naging consultant, naging ano, and then the source of information when it comes to culture and arts, siguro dyan pa buhay pa siguro yung ibang mga taga Dakon before. Ang parati nilang pinupuntahan ang Yusef. I was very much Amazed, hala. Sentro na pala ang Yusef. Nagiging sentro na ang Yusef. So, yun ang nangyari. And so then, I organized ko yung banda, the cover band. I organized the, um, what's that, the Kuris Kuris. Although, yeah, the first, uh, yung dance sports. Actually, naging center ng dance sports council ang University of Southeastern Philippines before. Naging, naging sentro. Ang first regional champion of the dance sports is 
from Yusef. Ang our president in the dance group, Romel Shoutong Ibalio, is actually an international winner sa dance sports. So yun, until such time na pumunta na yung dance sports, eh ba, dahil nakakalimutan ko na yung kultural, napunta na ako sa dance sports, bumalik ako sa kultural, iniwanan ko yung dance sports, binigay ko yata yun kay Pearl Mangkao, <laughs> hindi ko na alam, Pearl, ano na ba nangyari sa dance, dance sports noon? Ibinigay ko yun sa kanya, and then bumalik ako sa kultura, and then I, I, I teach my students, my dancers, making research about dances and the culture of Davao City. From then on, sitting pretty na ako, they work. They make research, they teach, they choreograph dances, and that's it. Doon nagsimula ang cultural affairs, Office of the Cultural Affairs, where I was then appointed to become the first director of the University Office of the Cultural Affairs. Na. Nagkaroon na ng opisina, tapos sabi ni Dr. Ortiz, eh di gumawa ka ng sarili mong office, saan mo ba gusto magtayo ng opisina? <laughs> Masyado akong humble, sabi ko doon na lang sa likod ma'am. So ikaw talaga, sa likod talaga, yes ma'am doon na lang. So doon ako nagpatayo ng opisina sa likod ng stage. Yun. And then that was the first official office of the Office of the Cultural Affairs. That is it. Until pag-retire ako. Yun na. Um, I remembered, I'm very proud of our products in USP. Kasi karamihan sa kanila, murag isabwag po ang ilang natunan sa kultura. Like, yung pamangkin ko, si Pablito. He became a choreographer of Ateneo de Davao. At saka si Dr. Dexter Siginia sa Compostela Valley Province. He's actually now a uh, supervisor, I think, or superintendent there. He actually started the, the culture and arts event there in Compostela Valley Province. Si Christy Ipe, who is also uh, Dr. Ipe, is also very enthusiastic in, in the culture and arts in Davao del Norte. Marami. At halos lahat siguro ng mga directors and choreographers ng mga dance troupe dito sa Davao City are from USEP. Halos lahat. Halos lahat. And then, I am also very proud. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga choreographers na malaki ang respeto nila kapag sa University of Southeastern Philippines na kultura ang magsasalita. Para bang, oh, credible, eh? may credibilidad dyan dahil research-based lahat ang ginagawa nila and that is because we are from Yusef hindi tayo basta-basta gumagawa ng bagay na walang basihan hindi galing sa research that is it and I mean they are well most of my, my, my dancers actually ang layo na ng mga nararating malayong malayo na hindi ko na matandaan in fact ngayon they keep on contacting me to reorganize back to the alumni the old dance theater Davao, the old Pangkatsilayan, isa lang yun eh. Nag-change lang ng pangalan. The one which is actually first recognized by the Cultural Center of the Philippines is Dance Theater Davao. And then later, I changed it to Pangkatsilayan, ganoon, and so on and so forth. Yun, eh. With all those, I, I, I really hope na unta ang akong pangandoy na mahimong center sa culture and arts at University of Southeastern Philippines being the first and the only state university of Region 11 unta siya ang sentro sa culture and arts I hope kaning mga bagong mga dancers mga singers etc the one who is actually managing and directing the culture and arts of Yusef unta you will shine to become the leader in the region and not, in the, not only in the region in the Philippines kay hapit na kayo unta ta ma-recognize ana before I would remember nga kahadlukan ka sa Manila, sa Una, sa region, sa Mindanao. Pero dili kahadlukan nga, nga, nga something nga different. Actually, every time every time I go on for a meeting, parating ang source of information, parating USEP. So nagiging sentro ang USEP. So malapit na malapit na maging totoong sentro tayo. That is it. Ang dream ko lang talaga, the University of Southeastern Philippines will be 
the center of the culture of arts not only in Mindanao but in the Philippines as well. That's it. And now it's February, it's Arts Month. I would remember before, pag Arts Month, ang dami nating activity. And I hope the USP community will continue supporting the culture and the arts. Katulad nung pagsusupport niyo sa akin, alam niyo noon, I'm really very happy kay supportive mo kay Tanang. Tanang na himong presidente, including Dr. General Lau. My God, ang support sa culture and the arts. Lahat nagsusupport. Ang mga teachers, mga faculty members, every, everything na sinasabi, oh, gawain ninyo ito, oh, ikaw mag-ano ito. They, keep, they really won't say no. I hope, karon. Padayon gihapon mo bisag na pandemic kadayon lang gihapon mo sa pagsuporta sa culture and arts. Ipadayon nato ka University of Southeastern Philippines Bay Ata. And then dili lang sa isa ka area, sa tanang area nag-excel baya gyud ta. And please, unta ipadayon nato pag uswag ang arts, karong arts man ipakita nato that we will still lead. I hope. I pray. Once again, I am Sir Kimo, Guillermo V. Di Maligalig, the first culture and arts, a cultural affairs director of the University of Southeastern Philippines, Obrero Davao City. Maraming, maraming salamat. Madayaw ng adlaw kamayong ahurot.